I am Anil Kumar sharing with you few important test questions based on binomial theorem applications. We have these three questions here which I have seen in test papers many times. I hope their solution will help many of my students. Now let's go through these questions. Question 1. In the expansion of x plus 1 to the power of n, the coefficient of x cube is twice the coefficient of x square find n question 2 find n if 1 plus 2x over 3 to the power of n times 3 plus nx whole square equals 2 9 plus 84x plus so on and question number 3 is the constant term is 1280 in the expansion of x over a plus a square over x to the power of 6 find possible value of a. Now I hope you remember the expansion of binomial uh, theorem. If it is a plus b to the power of n, it could be written as the sum of using the combination ncr a to the power of n minus r times b to the power of r, right? Now, in this particular case, r could be from 0 to n. So, all these, uh, so these coefficients ncrs uh, will be, if you have an expression like x plus 1, so the coefficient will be ncr. So, in the very first question, what you can see is x square x cube will be, you have to look for the terms, uh, the last three terms, rather four terms, correct? then you will get your answer, correct? Whenever you have two different uh, binomials to be expanded, you could use uh, uh, two variables. For example, you could use c plus d to the power of n equals to, uh, let's say instead of r, you can use s. s equals to from 0 to n, n c s, c to the power of n minus s times d to the power of s, right? So you could use instead of n, s, and, the, and then you can work out from these terms, solve for x kind of uh, coefficients, and then uh, compare the coefficients with x equals to 1 in this particular case to get the answer, right? And in the third case, we are talking about the constant term, so for constant term, uh, we have something, uh, let's say capital A, x to the power of 0. Since x to the power of 0 is 1, right, so this is equal to A, a constant term. You can keep these things in mind. Uh, and we also will be using a formula for general term. So general term, let's say T R plus 1 will be NCR. Uh, a, if A is your first term, N minus R times B to the power of R. So this is your general term. So I've just uh, summarized the formulas which could be utilized in solving all these questions. Now we'll take a solution of these one by one. The question number one here is, in the expansion of x plus 1 to the power of n, the coefficient of x cube is twice the coefficient of x square. Find n. So let us expand this. We have x plus 1 to the power of n. So if we expand, we get ncn x to the power of n plus ncn minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 times 1. Okay. Uh, plus so on. Now since we are interested in x cube, we can look into the terms with uh, ncr where r is 3, right? So that will give us x cube, correct? So, so what we get here is nc3 x cube plus nc2 x square plus nc1 x, right? Uh, plus nc0, which is a constant. Is it okay? 
So, so that is what we are going to get in this particular series. Now, what is given to us is the condition that the coefficient of x cubed is twice the coefficient of x squared. Now, what is the coefficient of x cubed, which is nc3, okay? So, that is twice nc2. That is what we are given as a condition. So, let's equate. So, that means we are given that nc3 is equal to twice nc2. So, from here, we can find what n is. So, that gives us n factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial equals to twice. Here we have n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Right? Now we can simplify this. We can cancel 2 with 2 factorial. We can cancel n factorial and n factorial. And we can simplify the rest. Uh, writing this, we get 1 over n minus 3 factorial. That is 6, right? 3 times 2. And here we get 1 over n minus 2 times, we could write this as n minus 3 factorial. Do you understand? So we wrote n minus 2 factorial as n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. So that gives us much simpler equation. They cancel off. So what we have now is 1 over 6 equals to 1 over n minus 2, right? So what we have now is 1 over 6 equals to 1 over n minus 2. So we can solve for n now. So we can just cross multiply. So we get n minus 2 equals to 6 or n is equals to 6 plus 2 uh, which is 8. So we get n equals to 8. So that is the solution, right? You could actually verify your solution also with calculator. So you will notice that uh, if n is 8, then this term will be 8c3. And 8c3 is indeed twice 8c2, right? So using calculator, you, will, you can verify this. 8c3 is 56, and 56 is 2 times 28. So that is a check for your answer, right? So I hope that makes sense. The equation here is, find n if 1 plus 2x over 3 to the power of n times 3 plus nx whole square equals to 9 plus 84x. So basically we are interested in finding only first two terms of this product of binomials. So let's begin by expanding them. Uh, we could write the first expansion as 1 to the power of n, which is, uh, or we, let me write ncn, okay, uh, just uh, 1 to the power of n, okay, plus nc n minus 1, 1 to the power of n minus 1 times 2x over 3. Now, we are not going further since we'll get x square, and we are only interested in limiting ourselves till x, right? So, Okay, times expansion of this gives us 9 square of 3 plus 2ab, which is 6nx plus square of that, which is n square x square. Now let's expand. So if I multiply with 1, I get what? I get, uh, so this is on the left side. On the right side, we have 9 plus 84x plus so on. So if I multiply with 1, let me multiply the first two terms, we get n plus 6nx. We'll not go there, we'll just do two terms. So first we did 1 time these two terms. Okay? And now, using this term, which is, this is basically n, we'll multiply this with just 9. So we get what? We get plus 
n c n minus 1 that is just 1 times 2x over 3 times 9 plus many other terms all this is equal to 9 plus 84x now if you compare 9 is already there as far as n is concerned n c n minus 1 is also n so we can take n common right so we have 9 plus here we can take n common we get 6x uh, plus here we get uh, 9 divided by 3 is 3 so we get again 6x uh, plus so on is equal to 9 this is also uh, more terms are there 84x plus so on so if you compare 9 is equal to 9 that's perfectly fine so this this is okay but this term we can equate to 84 and find the value of unknown x right so so from here we can actually equate 6x plus 6x is 12x so we can write 12 x times n is equals to 84x now we can find what n is so n is 84x divided by 12x so that gives us the value of n as so x and x cancel and 84 goes 7 times so we get the value of n as equal to 7 so our answer is n equals to 7 right so I hope the steps are absolutely clear so if you have such questions you only have to work for the terms where you really need to compare that's the whole idea so that way if you do you take less time and get the perfect answer the constant term is 1280 in the expansion of x over a plus a square over x to the power of 6 find possible value of a you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions now for such questions we need to find the general term first right now in this case what is the general term we know n is equal to 6 since the exponent is 6 right so we could write the general term as 6cr x over a is the first term so x over a to the power of 6 minus r times the other term is a square over x to the power of r so that becomes the general term now let's try to simplify this so we get 6cr x to the power of 6 minus r and here we have minus r since it is in the denominator right as far as a is concerned we have 2r and here minus of 6 minus r this could be further simplified 6cr equals to x to the power of 6 minus 2r and a to the power of that becomes plus so we have 3r minus 6 now when we say constant it means what so when we say constant that means we want x to the power of 0 right so that means we should now equate the exponent of x to 0 so we get 6 minus 2r equals to 0 so that is to say 6 equals to 2r or this implies that r is equals to 3 right 6 divided by 2 so what we get here is the value of r so once we get the value of r we can substitute this in the term which we have here which is 6 r x to the power of this and get the value of a right so now since we know the constant term is given to us as 1280 
So we can write 1280 as equal to 6 C3, since R is 3, right? 6 C3, X we know will be 0 because we write 6 minus 2 times 3. We're substituting R with 3 now, times A to the power of 3 times 3 minus 6, correct? So what we have done is that we have substitute r equals to 3 in this particular situation, right? So we first introduce it here, and then we have written it right there. So I hope that part is clear, right? So now we can calculate a. Since we know this is 1280 equals to 6c3 is 20, but let me go with the expansion, 6 factorial over 3 factorial times 6 minus 3 factorial. Here we get x to the power of 0, a to the power of 9 minus 3, which is q. Correct? So we get 1280 equals to, so this could be written as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over, here we have 3 factorial. This is 3 times 2 times 1, right? So in this expansion, this cancels, 3 times 2 is 6, we are left with 20. a to the power of x to the power of 0 is 1, so we are left with a to the power of 3, a cube. Now we could divide by 20, this 1280, 5 times 4 is 20, equals to a cube. Now this is uh, 64 is equals to a cube. So that gives you cube root of 64 as equal to a, which is equal to 4, right? So we get our answer that a is equal to 4, right? So that is how we could solve it. So I'd like you to go through this solution, try to understand how we got this solution. So the idea is write a general term, equate the exponent of x as 0, find the value of r. Once you get r, then substitute it back to your general term and find the value of a by equating the term to 1280. Correct? So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.